hi everyone so we are going to use these two methods like index post and search index post is just calling the index method and the search is calling just a search method and the payload is kind of simple the index which we are looking for and the body okay we have these two methods and one method which we have already created which is a create index now it is create index will create the index on the bootstrap of the application okay now we have index post like you wanted to add a record to the post index and the search and these both the methods we are going to call from our main services right so let's say this is a search service search service we can inject inside our domain module we have the services post service here we will inject it and we will use it here so we will say private read only and we have this particular service which we are importing and we are actually going to call these respective methods like search service is there so we should be able to import this now we can actually call this dot search service dot something okay what a quick fix alignment so we can actually call this dot search service while you are actually creating this so get by this and here we have the create method okay once you are actually saving this new user okay here we can do the magic this dot search service dot now we will define the method which we are going to call this dot search service dot we have two methods create index and index post we are going to call and we will pass the payload right so here is our user object and this is what we are returning and this user object we can pass into this so this is what we need to do uh, it's actually new not new user it's a post just rename it just a naming because we are copying the code from the old project that is the only thing and we are passing the post and we are returning it also now the name conflict is there so we'll just convert it into a post data yeah so here now we are calling it so whenever you are creating the record you will also index it inside our elastic search service and this is async so we'll just put it await and when you are actually searching this so let's say you are searching so you can actually simply call this particular method i mean i'm not writing it directly here but we have another method which is i think search let's see what we are searching simply search right it takes uh, only the text as an input right so search we can actually pass the title or whatever we are receiving for now let's say test or the title we are receiving from here so our search method will totally change public async search and we just need to call this method directly and return the data okay what we will do is first we will get the, the results const results equal to this dot we have this particular service search service dot search and we will pass the text which we are getting for the search okay you will get the the result set okay and uh, you will just return that result set i mean you can actually do the fallback if you are getting the re ids from that result set if that length is null then return empty that means you have to fall back to the database logic right then you will be calling the database and all these things but for me this is fine 
because always we are going to have a data in our elastic search so you can return this directly public async search data let's say and we are getting the text okay a simple method our service is calling the elastic search service and giving us the data what else we need and here we are already creating this data into the elastic search right so we are actually synchronizing the data whenever we are creating so simply similarly we can also write the update and delete whenever you are actually removing a particular index then we can also remove it now the remaining thing is just fix our controllers call this particular service add few more few more methods let's say i wanted to also delete something right delete by query so you can add that in the elastic search service uh, delete method like you have a post id and based on that you wanted to delete so index post here we can have another method public async remove and we have yes service and we are getting this index from the config value and in the body you will specify which particular id you are trying to delete right so this delete method also you can actually call whenever you are doing a typo rm delete you will call you will just have a post id you are deleting the data by post id you just call this uh, search service dot remove and pass the post id and it will help us to delete right so we are actually synchronized when you are creating we are creating in elastic search when you are deleting we are deleting from the elastic search and simply search this can be customized this this is a particular query this can be customized based on your need what you want right if you want a simple auto populate right auto complete search kind of thing you just pass the title because title supports auto complete right if length is greater than two characters you just keep calling the search method and get the result set and here because you see you have seen the response from the elastic search it, it's like a big json where you have the hits and from the hits you get the actual response object and in that response object you also need to iterate onto that array and get the source values that is the actual response so this kind of transformer you always need to write whenever you are getting the response from the elastic search okay so that's it what we will do is i will just clean up these controllers and services and in the next video we will see the end-to-end -end demo how the search is happening how the create is happening and how we are getting the data okay uh, thanks everyone